guys, welcome um, to your yoga practice. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I have been uh, feeling a little um, stuck lately as far as um, energy wise and um, you know, thinking that maybe today it's a slow flow, but I thought today we could um, bring about some of our own innate energy that we all have within us kind of tap into our own life force and hoping that um, using a little bit of breath work and some um, intentional um, shapes with our bodies that we can uh, tap into a little bit of that energy uh, instead of reaching for that second or third or fourth cup of coffee like we all have the tendency to do in the afternoon. Um, so first of all, uh, let's start seated. Hi. Let's start seated. Um, I'm sitting up on a bolster right now. You can sit on a blanket or a block um, or just on your mat. Easy, easy seat. Um, I do like if your hips are a little bit tighter, you can sit up on something. Um, that way your knees are a little bit lower than your hips. Uh, and first we'll, we'll just begin by um, kind of collecting ourselves. So sit in whatever position is comfortable for you. Let's close our eyes um, and take a few uh, conscious breaths together. Just giving your body and your mind a chance to sink up into what is your, your yoga practice this afternoon. If you're just joining us, if you don't have your um, space set up yet, go ahead and do that. Gather any blocks you might need. Light a candle, as you see, I've got several. <laughs> just create your space and settle in. And take a few natural breaths that feel full and complete. Noticing whatever you're feeling in your body today is okay. Let it be okay. Let it be reality. That's all it is. It's just the reality of the moment. all as a collective take one more inhale together big deep breath and then exhale drop your chin to your chest slowly open your eyes okay now that we've gathered ourselves um, we're gonna take a, a practice in pranayama before we begin class and this this particular uh, breath work is really good for energizing um, yourself from the inside out really good for clearing out the lungs and um, for uh, kind of clearing out any cobwebs or uh, cloudiness, fogginess in the brain. Uh, so what it's, it's called Vestrika breath or uh, bellows breath. And um, to begin, I, I kind of want to relate it to like a dog panting uh, because that's something that we all, you know, we've all like, <laughs> you know, kind of like that, but we're going to have our mouths closed. <laughs> and um, but the idea is a forceful inhale and a forceful exhale. Um, and we're going to do probably start with about 20 um, rounds. And it's about, it's pretty quick. It's about one breath per second. Um, inhale or exhale per second. And um, uh, don't worry, I'll keep count. And just sit comfortably. Make sure your spine is nice and tall. Your belly has lots of space for breath. Your chest is going to remain mostly still. And you'll feel the breath kind of pumping from your abdomen. Um, you're going to use your ab muscles. This is a really great energizing breath. It's really good to do first thing in the morning before a workout. Or um, like in your mid-afternoon slump, instead of grabbing that extra cup of coffee, uh, try a couple rounds of this and just see if that kind of 
does that energizing uh, for you using your own um, natural capabilities. And if you want to close your eyes, close your eyes. I'll probably close my eyes so I can focus. And, um, and if you want to have a hand on your belly, you can place it there. You can have both hands um, placed lightly in your lap. And uh, we will just begin um, with our bellows breath. So forceful inhale, forceful exhale through our nose. So plant your hands, close your eyes, take an inhale, exhale, and we'll begin. just hold the breath at the top. And exhale. Okay, so we're going to do that one more round. Um, a sharp inhale, sharp exhales. Then we'll, all the air will go out. We'll pull a breath in and then we'll hold it right there. So let's do one more round. Close your eyes if you want to. ready to get into our practice. <clears throat> so take your space on your mat if you haven't already. And we'll start, we'll go ahead and just start tabletop. And we'll run uh, through a few little of uh, just some gentle movements in cat and cow. First opening up through the chest, lifting the heart on an inhale, look up. And then exhale, cat. Cow pose, breathe in. And cat, breathe out. Cow, inhale. Exhale, round the spine. Now let's move a little bit quicker pace. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, so still matching the movement with our breath, with our cat and our cow, but we're just moving a little bit quicker, maintaining that energy we've built with our best streak of breath. Inhale, exhale, two more rounds up, and exhale, lift up, cat pose, and tabletop. Whew. Settling that energy, feeling it kind of reverberating through your body, maybe even radiating down into your palms, into your shins. And then take your fingers, tip them above you, like you're reaching towards the top of your mat. Sit your hips back and let your shoulders open towards the floor. So fingers are tinted. We're not quite in puppy pose, not quite in child's pose. We're just stretching forward. And then pull your chest flat and your palms, pull your chest through your arms, come to a cobra or an up dog, just stretch your heart forward. And bend your knees, we'll settle back into that stretch, fingers tinted. And then pull forward and lift your heart. Bend your knees, sit your hips back, stretch through the sides. And then pull forward one more time. And then tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Pedal through this down dog, first starting nice and easy. I like to think about when I'm in these first few poses and my body is still uh, 
getting used to moving in this way, thinking about literally clearing out cobwebs from my muscles and my joints, start to get some circulation moving. And down dog is an inversion, albeit a gentler one than maybe handstand or headstand, but it is an inversion. So just, you know, thinking about the fact that our heads are getting a boost here. Circulation and oxygen. Start to still your feet, reach your heels down towards the mat, reach your palms forward, take a breath in. And a breath out, stretch your tailbone up. Take your right leg up behind you, stretch it way back. And bend your knee and open your hip. Then straighten your legs, square off your hip. And bend and open. And do that three more times, straight and square, feeling the hip rotate down. And then bend and open. And straighten and open. Straighten, inhale, exhale, hold right here. Press both palms down, take a breath in, breath out. Pull your chest forward to a one-legged plank with your heel bowed in line with your hips. Take an inhale and an exhale. Another breath in and then roll back, down dog. Inhale, plank pose. Keep that leg lifted. Exhale, three-point down dog. Inhale, pull forward. Exhale, three-point. One more pull forward. And back, just like we did. Now this time we're gonna pull forward, bend the knee and pull the, uh, the knee in towards the chest. Still those high plank arms. And then step right by your right thumb. It's okay if it takes more than one step. We're gonna lift our chest, look up, and then exhale, step to the top of your mat. Take a half lift. Fold, release the crown. Half lift. Fold. Another half lift. Stretch your heart forward. Fold it out, release, release, release. We'll come all the way up. See if you can come up with a flat back, just as you would with your half lift. Reach your arms up, and then down by your side. Reach your arms forward and up, and down by your side. Forward and up, down by your side. One more, forward and up. This time, hands to heart center. Take a moment, close your eyes. Feel your feet, all 10 toes, pressing down. And keeping your palms pressed together, lift your palms up, gaze at your thumbnails, and then dive down, this full body prayer motion. Hands come through your center, half lift, inhale. Step the right leg back, low lunge. Lift the left arm up, reach, and then exhale, sweep it down. Spin the right heel down with the right arm up, reach. And then sweep it down, come back up on the ball of the foot. Lift your chest, inhale. Step back, high plank, exhale. Breathe in. Low plank, if you're ready, you can come down to your knees if you want. Up dog, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg, inhale. Bend the knee, open the hip. Lift the heel back up, straighten the leg, square off the hip, bend and open. Lift and straighten, bend and open. One more. Stretch open, feel the space increase, and lift and hold, inhale. Exhale, pull forward high plank with the leg lifted, back down dog. High plank, keep the left leg lifted the whole time. Downward facing dog. Pull forward, glide back. 
One more forward and back. This time we're gonna bend the knee and hug it in towards the belly and the chest as we move forward into those high plank arms. Step to your left thumb. Create some space, lift your chest. Step forward, fold at the top. Half lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Come all the way up, lift your arms, and then open them wide down by your side. Lift forward and up, open wide down by your side. Forward and up, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale. Palms pressed together, lift back up, look at your thumbs. Fold all the way down. Half lift, step your left leg back, low lunge. Right arm comes up, twist open, and sweep it down. Spin your back heel down, left arm comes up, and put it back down. Plant your palms, step at high plank, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog. Take your right leg up, breathe in, bend and open, straighten and square, inhale, bend the knee, tuck it in towards your belly, and then step forward, nice, inhale, lift some chest, exhale, fold forward, half lift, breathe in, fold forward, breathe out, come all the way up, stand up. And hands by your side, exhale. Arms come forward and down by your side. And one more forward. And let's pull hands to heart center. Both palms pressed together, look up. Dive down, exhale. Half lift, breathe in. Right leg back, low lunge. Left arm comes up, twist. And then lower back down. Right arm comes up, lower, exhale, high plank, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, up dog, we're going to hold the up dog, press the tops of the feet down, inhale, exhale, and then just in your up dog, kind of look over your right shoulder, and then come back to center, and then look over your left shoulder, back to center, inhale, press your palms down, roll back down, we're facing dog. Left leg up, bend and peel open. Straighten and square, breathe in. Bend the knee, tuck it in, hug it in. Step to your left thumb. And then right leg comes to follow, fold down. Half lift, melt forward. All the way up, reach your arms big. And then hands, palms pressed to your center. Look up, reach back. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, breathe in. And then take your left leg back, low lunge. Sweep your arm up, your right arm, and then sweep it down. Left arm, and down. High plank, inhale. Low plank, exhale. Up dog, down facing dog. Pause and breathe, inhale. Exhale. Another breath in and breath out. Okay, this time we're going to take our right palm, lift it up, stack it onto our low back. Inhale. Exhale. So your palm's turned up, your thumb is towards your spine. Now from here, pull forward, high plank. Try to keep your right hip turned down and then back. Exhale. High plank. Down dog. One more time, high plank. Down dog. Just kidding, one more time, high plank. Stay here, exhale. Another breath in. Right palm comes down to the mat. Take an inhale. Lower all the way to your belly, exhale. Tinch your fingers wider than your mat, like you've got some cupcakes underneath your palm and you're trying not to crush it. Press the tops of your feet down, lift your chest. Nice wide cobra. 
And you can straighten your arms if that feels okay or leave them softened in the elbows. Take a breath in and a breath out. Now see if you can isolate your ribs here. Press them forward. Hug your shoulder blades back. Just intensify the opening of the heart here. Breathe in. Lower down, breathe out. Palms right underneath your shoulders. We're gonna tuck our toes. And then from here, see if you can do it. Let's see if I can do it. We're gonna um, lift up into a high plank all in one movement. Take a breath in. Exhale. High plank. Down dog, nicely done. Lift your left arm off the mat. Stack it over onto your low back. Palm turned up, inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward, forward. Come back, exhale, try to keep your hips level. It's really hard, inhale, pull forward. Exhale, pull back. One more, pull forward. And then left hand comes down, inhale. Lower to your belly, but resist as you lower. Tense your fingers out wide. Those cupcakes appear right underneath your palms. Press the tops of your feet down. Lift up. Exhale. Pull your heart forward. And then lower down. Breathe out. Pop up to your high plank. And then exhale down dog. Huge breath in. Huge breath out. Come high up onto your toes. Bend your knees and then step or hop. Half lift, inhale, fold forward. Come up, breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna interlace our hands above our heads. And then just make some circles behind your neck with your hands interlaced. So you're gonna draw your hands behind your neck, lift up on the other side. Three more rounds on this side. You can move quite quickly if it feels okay. And then the other side. Think about this quicker movement. Just kind of stirring yourself up a little bit, tapping into that energy. And then we'll pause at the top, inhale. Bend over to the right side, exhale. Through center, breathe in. And then other side, press to the left. And then center, release your fingers, look up. Draw back to your pose. And we whip ourselves up, we stir ourselves up with faster movements, and then we draw ourselves in and down. Concentrating that energy we just built into the work of the pose, the work of the shape. Begin to lower your arms alongside your hips. Interlace your hands behind your low back. And then start to lift your heels away from the mat. It'll help to squeeze your legs together almost as if you had just one solid, strong leg underneath you. Breathe in. Breathe out. And seeing if you can isolate those ribs opening, those heart muscles getting stretched and massaged. Take another breath in, another breath out. Inhale, lower your heels, exhale. Keep the bind, breathe in. Lower your chest to your thighs. Don't straighten your legs yet. Tip your knuckles up. Another inhale, exhale, maybe sink your seat just a little bit lower, take another breath, and then finally forward fold, release your hands. Some nice sensation, nice warmth in the thighs. Take a half lift up, step your left leg back, low lunge, tense your fingers, 
Those cupcakes came back right underneath your palms. Press your shin forward, right knee right over the ankle, and then sweep your arms forward and up. Crescent lunge. Take an inhale right here, and just slowly descend so that the back knee taps the floor, and then pull back up. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze and lower. Lift up. Tap the back knee. Three more. We can do this. Down. One more. Tap the knee down. This time stay. Bring your hands alongside the, your feet and around your mat and then just stretch your hips back. Runner's lunge. Breathe in, stretch your hips back. Just dig your heel into the mat. Like you're trying to drag it towards you, but your heel is resisting. It's magnetized right where it is. And then pull forward, that low lunge again. Sweep your arms up. And then squeeze your ribs together, squeeze, it, squeeze your belly in. Crescent lunge, inhale. Warrior two. So now we have this opening through the pelvis, through the inner thighs. Steady breath. Reverse, inhale. Half moon pose, exhale. This is a great place to grab your block or your book or your can of soup or whatever you have around you. <laughs> I'm just going to barely set my fingertips on the floor just to stabilize so I can practice turning my heart up. Take a breath in. Exhale. We'll have one more here. Standing splits. Torso rotates towards the floor and that hip closes. Inhale, lift the heel. Exhale. Take a breath in. Tuck your chin to your chest if you can. Tipping that heel up even higher. Take another breath. And then bend the knee. Shiva squat. Tuck the left knee behind the right knee. It's a lot for this leg, but we can do it. We're building endurance. Reach your right arm up. Inhale. Twist open. Another inhale, and exhale. Take another breath, and sweep the right arm down. We're gonna unwind slowly. Feet together, fold. Halfway up, breathe in. Fold, exhale. Half lift, chair pose. Reach arms up. And then gather your hands, palms at your chest, take a breath in, twist to your left. Three more. Last breath in. Forward fold over your legs. Okay, we take them about hips distance apart. Let's just shake, bend our knees, wag our tail, take some circles. Just after all that contraction and squeezing of the muscles, we're going to loosen them up and let some blood flow enrich those muscles that might be feeling a little bit Sensational. <laughs> Good, and start to step the feet back together. 
to your comfortable distance. Hold over your legs. Take a half lift. A half lift, inhale. And set the right leg back, low lunge. And just feel that your fingertips aren't holding too much weight. So we're gonna go ahead and put that work into our legs and our core, our back, ribs, and abdomen. And then from here, sweep your arms forward and up. High crescent lunge. Get really nice and strong in your legs. Inhale. And then bend the knee. Tap the right knee down to the mat. Exhale. Now you're not sinking into it or barely letting it kiss the floor. And again. Lift. And tap. Got it for three. Last lift. Settle down. Bring the hands alongside your feet. Stretch the hips back. And then create that traction within your leg. Dig your heel down into the mat. Pull your hips back. One more moment of intensity. Feel that stretch. And bend the knee. Come back. Sweep your arms up. Squeeze the legs in. Crescent lunge. Inhale. Warrior two. Now, if this feels like it's a good place to hang out, if it feels like you're like, oh, I can manage this, go deeper. Come on, let's challenge ourselves. I know I will notice myself becoming really comfortable in Warrior Two, And really, it should be a hard, challenging pose, no matter how long you've been practicing yoga. So press yourself into it. Come back to that place of a beginner where everything's hard. <laughs> then reverse, calmly reach back. And then half moon, let's take it slow to get there. Set ourselves up for some stability. When I was first trying to practice half moon, I'd always just try to fling myself into it, hoping or thinking that that was the right way. You weren't supposed to take your time. You are supposed to just pop up into it, no problem. There's rarely a pose in yoga that benefits from flinging yourself into it. Open wide, start to turn the heart up. Pull your right shoulder back. Get bigger. For another breath in. And then turn down towards the floor. Standing splits. After our runners, our half splits, this should feel a little bit more accessible. Draw the heel up. And tuck the head in. Another breath stretch. Pull your inner thighs apart. Reach those toes higher, higher, higher. Take another breath stretch. Open, inhale. And then Shiva squat. We're on to something new. Shiva squat. Your chest is about in a half lift position just to create some space so that you can lift your left arm twist open. And you can flex, point, or floint your foot, just 
to give it to something to focus on so you're not just hanging out there. It's not just dead weight. Inhale, exhale for two more. One more. Sweep the arm down, slowly unwind, y'all. Forward fold. Pedal your, I guess we're not really pedaling, we're just bending our knees, locking our hips out. Reach to the left side of your mat, or it'll be, probably be like beyond your mat but at the left corner. Draw the right hip back. Just feel it stretch through your right side. And come through center. Reach to the other side. Come through center. Take a half lift up. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. And come all the way up, stand tall. And I wanna, we're gonna try something that is a balancing pose, but both feet will be on the floor. I want you to try this. Take your right foot and step it right in front of your left toes. Bring your hands to heart center. So it's like you're walking on a tightrope. And then just close your eyes. Pretty, it's pretty tricky. See if you can find a little bit of stability and you'll notice your feet probably are wiggling like crazy at first. But as you remain, you might start to notice see, my feet are all wiggling in all directions, you might start to notice a little bit of centeredness. Awesome. And keeping your hands at prayer, we're just going to switch. So step the left foot in front of the right foot. And close your eyes. That's the important part, y'all. Close your eyes. Trust. <laughs> Nothing has changed about how you were standing, except now your eyes are closed. And we have to rely on our trust in ourselves. We have to rely on feeling the balance rather than trying to see to balance. Just a good change in perspective. It can be so simple. It looks so easy. It can be pretty challenging. Nice, okay. Let's shake that out. Bring your hands by your side. Reach your arms up, inhale. We'll take dancer on the right side. So reach for your right foot, the inside of your right foot with your right hand, reach your left arm up. And then it's cool to hang here. If this is your dancer today, or if you wanna to start to reach forward, lifting the right leg out. Feel that openness through your right shoulder. Use that leg, that foot that you're in, is in your hand to push into your hand to open through the chest. And then carefully, we'll just come back to center and switch sides. Left hand goes back into the left foot. Stay upright or start to tip forward. And here is where you can use 
use that drishti, that focus of your eyes onto one thing, or if you want to close your eyes, go for it. Three more breaths, really reaching in all these directions, but feeling grounded, feeling centered. One more breath, and then come back to stand. Reach your arms up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, high plank. In here and exhale. Lift the right heel up, bend the knee, bend the knee so that the sole of the foot is reaching up towards the ceiling. We take a pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, squeeze the glutes, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it, squeeze it at the top, draw that knee to your left elbow, and then place the foot down for falling star, or shooting star, whatever you want to call it. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another breath, empty. You got this, y'all, another big reach. Bring the hand back down, and take top hand down. Rotate over to the other side, side plank, lift up. Now bend the knee, land the toes behind you for wild thing. Lift through the chest, through the ribs, feel your heart, heart muscles stretching. Reach long, breathe in, and then exhale, high plank, come back around. Left leg goes right up. Let's not waste any time. Bend your knee. And then 10 pulses. Squeeze the glutes. Let the movement originate from the glute, not from the foot. Lift, squeeze. Three, two, one. Hold it here. Squeeze at the top. Then drive the knee towards the right elbow. Land the foot. Reach up. Falling star. If you start to get fatigued in the wrists, Try to press down into your knuckles, your fingertips. Shift the weight forward into your hand instead of dumping it into the wrist. Take another breath in, reach. Palm comes down first. Then use your core, pull the leg through over to the other side, side plank. Energize through the right glute, right outer thigh. Pull that tight to the bone. Flex your feet, bend your knees. Land the toes, the left toes behind the right. Leg and then open wide. Right here I feel lots of sensation in my ribs as they stretch and create more space. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more here. Come back, high plank. Inhale, lower to your belly, exhale. And take locust pose. Place your palms alongside your hips. And then first we're just gonna lift our chest. Keep the feet grounded, palms grounded. So we're using the muscles in our backs Peel our ribs off the mat. Take a breath in, breath out. Now peel your legs off the mat. Use the muscles in your back and in your glutes to peel your thighs up off. Hands are still grounded. Now on this inhale, lift your palms. See if you can get a little bit more lift here 
through the chest, through the ribs. Don't crank your neck up. It's not about looking up in your neck. Keep it long, no wrinkles on the back of the neck. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze your glutes, inhale. Exhale, another breath in, and then fall down. Wiggle your heels side to side. We got one more variation. We're gonna take bow pose, but let's stair step it just like we did for locust. First lift your chest, ground the left palm, reach back for your right foot, and just pause here. Notice, notice. And then from here, bend the left foot. You'll probably sink a little in your chest as you reach back for the left foot. Pause here before you start to kick out, just pause. And then now, pull the shoulder blades in together to lift the chest. Pull the feet up towards the ceiling to lift even more. I'm gonna have trouble talking through this, so we'll stay for five counts. One more, and then lower down. This time, big windshield wipers with your legs. stillness. Be with the sensation. Don't hide from it. Don't wish it away. side of the body and strengthen through the back body. So we're going to take another purposeful energizing pose to send us off um, feeling good for the rest of our day. I'll let you choose bridge or wheel. If you're just staying in bridge, have your hands alongside your body and release your hands behind your low back. If that feels okay, tuck your shoulders in and lift your hips up. So you're literally making a bridge with your hips, pulling them up towards the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are, pulling your ribs up, and then remain, let some space remain between your chin and your chest. Don't drop your chin to your chest. If you're in wheel, hands by your ears. Press up. And sometimes to uh, go a little bit deeper into my wheel, drop my, hand, uh, drop my head down to my mat, lock my hands in closer to my feet, press back up. And keep the slight engagement on your inner thigh so the knees don't spill out too far. Let's stick it for eight more counts, we can do it. Calm breath. One more. And then carefully lower yourself back down from wherever you were. <clears throat> Open your knees. Supta Baddha Konasana. Reclined down angle. Take your hands to your body. Our bodies need connection, they need physical touch. we regulate ourselves, how we feel secure. Sometimes when we can't get that from other people, we want to give it to ourselves as much as we can. Peaceful 
in and out without manipulation. Your heartbeat returns to its steady, well-worn rhythm. It knows exactly what to do. And we'll just take that connection up a level. You can leave your legs as they are. Just wrap your arms around yourself so you can grab opposite shoulders. Notice which elbow is stacked on top. Reach for your shoulder blades. Give yourself a hug. And then we'll reverse. Stack your other elbow on top. Reach for your shoulder blades. Unwind, bring your knees together, roll to your side. And from however you like to get there, come to half pigeon with your right shin forward. And if you find that your seat kind of is a little bit lifted, if you're trying to make your hips square to the mat, they won't. Settle, settle down as much, take a block underneath your hips because I'd much rather your hips be square to the mat than your hips be on the mat because that doesn't stretch as productively. So take a blanket, a couch cushion, or a block underneath your hips if they're still floating in space. are already split in two different directions, so we're just going to take a wide leg or a fold, just right on your mat. And you can lift like the glutes, like the meat of your bottom out of the way and let your sits bones ground to the mat. And then I like to kind of just lift up and scoot my pelvis forward, toes remain up, nice and tall on the spine, and then fold forward if that feels okay. Slight engagement of the thighs, the top of the thighs, lifting the kneecaps towards your hips. Opens a little bit more through the back side, just like as in our back bends, we're squeezing our back body to open our front body. Here you can squeeze your tops of your legs to open through the backs of your legs. And then walk your hands back. And then again, Legs are still split in two different directions. Might as well just rotate towards the back of your mat for your half pigeon, if it feels okay. Fold and settle. Up carefully, slowly, and rotate onto your seat and roll back onto your mat. <clears throat> Take happy baby. Adding movement if it feels 
right for you. Being still if that feels right for you today. Just following that intuition, that inner knowing we all have. We just have to learn to trust it. Gather your knees in. Drop them over to the right, twist left. And then we'll bring them back to center and drop the knees over to the left, twist right. I realized a few minutes ago I forgot to do chair twist on the right, so we'll just let this be our more gentle chair twist. We're in pretty much the same shape. center. Pull up so that your forehead can meet your knees, even tucking your chin to your chest. Shavasana, y'all. Lay down. Please, please stay for your Shavasana. You've earned it. needs the rest and the surrender just as much as it needs the work. Shavasana as long as you like. By all means, take as much time as you can. To be in this position of rest, of dissolution. Or you can roll to your side if you're ready to come out of your practice. You can spend a few moments on your side, or if you're ready, come up to your seat. Let your eyes stay closed, just feeling these last, last feelings of your practice. Let it be information from your body right into your mind instead of worrying about information from your sight. And then just notice that you've tapped into this own, your own little well of energy that resides inside of you. Bring your hands to heart center. You can open your eyes if you want to. Um, I just want to thank you for being here with us and practicing with us. We appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Um, let us know if you need anything, and we will see you next time on your mat. Namaste. Great job, y'all. <clears throat> Have a good weekend.